Auto eases into a three, and the game jam one. The Warriors on in motion. Andrew Wiggins, the right side. It's left all right for the All-Star Inch. Have yet to miss a shot. Getting off to a quick start is always a good thing for the Warriors. Dangerous pass. And Porter saved that turnover. Shot clock down to five. Jordan Poole is foul shooting the three. Don't avoid him last minute, but it was too late. Now, he's found a home here with the Warriors, and there's synchronicity between him and the front of bruises. You want to book a massage before and after that game because he's got a little calf strain that they're keeping an eye on. Gobert making another one presented by Michelob Ultra. You can be there for the Knicks only in their last game. The Knicks had a great comeback in the second half against Denver, but they had a brutal second quarter and had the rebound. Curry waiting for Porter. And floating it over Azubuki. And this is a wonderful beat. Looked a little sketchy to start there. But Otto Porter finally set the screen for Stephen and just rolled and they screwed up the coverage. Donovan Mitchell, and that's where probably the toughest shot in the game, as far as I'm concerned. And he's always been a good defender on Steph. Looney knocked him off with the screen. Finds an Otto Porter three wide open and camaraderie. Now Draymond kind of had the big speech after the loss at home to Indiana and just said. We want to win a title. We got to be a lot better. Well, his team has heard that and his teammates have responded and they all realize they had to do more defensively to make up for Draymond's absence. We all got to talk more. We got to work harder. <laughs> O'Neal was going to lose that ball and somehow got it to Azubuki. Two defenders committed to O'Neal, including Kevon Looney, who was on Azubuki. That's how he scores. His easy buckets, reacting to drives, his teammates great for him. Staff an open three. And rattled that out. What's it like elevation wise at Utah? Second highest compared to Denver, but do you feel it? It's a little like Denver. You feel it definitely to start the game. Oh my goodness. You can have a moving screen, take away that three. Jordan Poole is so happy about that because he got yanked. But so he also had to deal with the screen. Finish the thought on elevation there. It's a lot different. You definitely feel it to start the game. And you get your second win for some people it's third quarter some people it's second doesn't like it because it's tough to see that contact there as a boogie doesn't like it i know donovan Mitchell doesn't like it but that was nasty so azubuki will sit with the two fouls you almost come in mentally prepared to be out of breath to start the game and then you just try to fight through that to teams like utah and denver are they just super fit because they're always practicing and living there they should be living in denver for me was great because during the summer i'd go there and work out and i'd be running laps around guys when i got back because it's just a different level you get used to that not being able to breathe it gets you in better shape wiggins missing there Hassan white side the rebound wiggins with the steal on the outlet gp2 and damian lee have checked in and you saw the size of Whiteside. He changed that shot. Royce O'Neal. Let's Wiggins fly by and then buries the three. What a great three and D player Royce O'Neal has been the last several years. After a slow start for the Jazz, uh, they picked up their intensity and started knocking down shots a little more often here. And you know it's going to be a high level game. The turnover and the steal. Mitchell carries on here. Bogdanovich the trail three you make a mistake against a team this good and they will make you pay that little turnover gets how much better he's gotten there because he knows he can get by his guy his main defender right in front of him but he's usually focused on the guys behind him and when you're playing against the Warriors when they're whole as Steph knocks down a little mid-range jumper kiss off the glass that was pretty when you're playing against the Warriors and they're whole you got to worry about Draymond off the ball so he's focused right. on the defenders behind the guy that's guarding him. So GP2 in the deal with Mitchell and others. Forrest has checked in. You see Gary Payton the second nearly come up with the steal there. And that's why you can't focus on your main defender because guys like GP2 are in the game off the ball. He's causing all kinds of havoc. So Jonathan Kaminga in. Kaminga has been very good. In the last three games, 19, 18, and 16, he gives Kevon Looney the rest. Look at how the Warriors are communicating. No, you got him. Get over there. So Hassan Whiteside just handed it off to Mitchell. 
And again, you'll live with the three. He'll make some of them, but that is not as dangerous as him getting downhill. I like Andrew Wiggins' strategy there. He kind of went under one as Steph loses it. Well, these Steph turnovers are getting run back as baskets. Trent Forrest with the steal and the finish. Trent Forrest made sure he knew where that guy was that was chasing him. Got him under control, kind of slowed up, let him run into him, and made it easier on himself to finish. Kaminga the open three. But the way Utah guards Steph, and Steph that time did it perfectly. He's just going to have to get rid of the ball a little bit earlier. Holding on against Utah has been a problem, and Whiteside will get to the line. You don't want to fall asleep defensively. Warriors got to lock back in here on both sides, the turnovers. A little lackadaisical defensively. Steph, two defenders were on him. He had the right idea, but they just had really active hands. You saw how Trent Forrest was like, I know GP2. People say dribble around him at your own risk, so I got to make sure I find him, look back, slow down, and then go up and finish. He did a good, pretty good job there. Hassan Whiteside, eyes lights up when he sees the Warriors. He's played them 12 times. Has had a double-double eight of the 12 games in his career. What a luxury, though, for the Jazz to have Rudy Gobert go down and then have two monsters behind him as a buki. Jazz have come all the way back to take the lead. You like Kaminga's mentality. He showed a lot of patience there trying to attack the Sun white side. It should be a getting downhill. Look, Kaminga's not even being guarded there. And for Jonathan, I love that. Take your time. Whiteside's nowhere near you. And bury that three and make him pay. I just talked about that, that matchup. It's going to be a tough one for Hassan Whiteside if he's knocking down threes. No need for Jonathan to rush that, and he didn't. That was good composure. Flip up and out by Forrest. Whiteside's just bigger. And drops it back.